If you've ever screen shared on Zoom or Google Meet on your computer, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the same with your iPhone screen. So if you've joined a Google Meet or Zoom on your computer, you can attach your phone to your computer and use your phone screen to share what you're seeing on the screen to your Google Meet and Zoom participants. In my case, I've got a MacBook that only has got USB-C ports. And I've only got a USB port um, cable for connecting to my iPhone, so I need an adapter. So these adapters you can get first party or third party from Apple for five bucks or so. Uh, so we'll plug this into the computer and then we'll plug our phone into it. Once you've plugged in your phone, it'll prompt you to update your phone's operating system and it'll automatically open photos. We don't care about either of those applications because what we want to do is open up QuickTime Player. Now QuickTime Player assumes we're going to open a media file and watch it, but we're actually interested in going to File, New Movie Recording. Now New Movie Recording, by default, it picks up our webcam. We are interested in clicking this arrow icon to the right of the record button here. And if you click that, you'll actually see you have a choice of changing what camera. So when you have your phone plugged in, you should see iPhone appear or iPad appear as an alternative option of camera. If you don't, try closing QuickTime, reopening it, try unplugging your phone, plugging back in. But once you've opened QuickTime, you should see iPhone. So let's click iPhone. You'll see that it triggers a bunch of crap like asking us to update our OS again. It reopens uh, photos, which we're not interested in. But now we have an image of movie recording. So you can see that it mirrors our phone. And if we go to Chrome and we go to Google Meet, and this is true for Zoom as well. If you click New Meeting, Start an Instant Meeting, we can now go to the bottom right like we're used to for sharing our screen, but instead of sharing our entire screen, we can go to a window. And you'll see that now we have the option both of either the full screen or our phone, which is QuickTime. If we choose Movie Recording, you'll see that now we are screen sharing our phone's interface. It works great both for opening apps and showing off apps and you can switch between portrait mode and landscape mode and your, uh, the people joining your Google Meet or Zoom will also see what you're seeing. You can interact with the app and it'll mirror it in near real time. So yeah, this is how to screen share from your iPhone to Google Meet or Zoom. Now, given that you're plugged into your computer by cable, there should be no connectivity issues. There should be no latency or lag. Uh, I found this to be really helpful. I interacted with a teacher of mine about photography for an hour using this and had no flaws or downtime. It should work the exact same for Google Meet as Zoom or Microsoft Teams or whatever you might use for screen sharing. So let me know in the comments if you got questions, if there were issues that didn't work for you. I'm curious to know how it works for you.